video is a two-day vlog and the reason why we're in the city of Cagayan de Oro is basically because we're going to claim the documents that are required for me to enroll into the current school that I'm enrolled and that is why we're here this is my first or second day in the city and right now we're going to the senior high school campus of Sirio University which is located in the uptown part of Cagayan de Oro which is about 4 to 5 kilometers away from where we are right now. We're going to go ahead and claim the good moral certificate and the form 137 or my students permanent record because these are two of the requirements for me to get enrolled into the new school that I am in. It has been bought less than 12 hours ago, but it should be fresh. It has been stuck here in this really cold room and it's not really that fresh anymore. It's not really that hot anymore, obviously. I'm going to take my first bite. This is double cheeseburger and this is what it tastes like right now. It's not that hot anymore, but it's all good. I'm gonna be leaving this hotel room. We only spent like 14 hours here. We're leaving. And now, let's head to school. The previous school that I've attended. <laughs> That is almost the power of the room. Okay, we're leaving. We're finally leaving. Of this. We're leaving this hotel and we're going to get to the school, which will take us to the southern part of the city. I'm back in the school that I attended. Man, I, I miss this. So basically what we're doing now is we're going to submit all the documents required so that we can get the Form 137 of my report card that I claim and then send it to the school that I'm currently enrolled in as a requirement for enrollment. Yes, it's second semester but I'm just going to enroll. Okay, so I was able to claim my permanent record or Form 137 from the registrar's office and since many of their offices are only having their half day today, I will still have to claim my good moral certificate from the students perfect. In order for me to claim my good moral certificate, I have to pay 80 pesos in the main campus of the Xavier University which is the downtown part, we're in the uptown part. So I tried to get over to the main campus of the school but the staff at the, the afternoon off because they're going to announce the winners like they're going to have their activities so I wasn't able to get the good moral of certificate and I'll be getting it tomorrow because they have their activities uh, it will be postponed until tomorrow but right now we're in the mall so I was able to get my students permanent record from the registrar's office in the senior high school campus of Xavier University but I wasn't able to claim the good moral certificate from the students perfect because they already had their cut time and there will be no activities later because they're going to have their curricular activities for their affair in the school so I wasn't able to get it I should go to the main campus of the civil university to pay 80 pesos in that ca in that cashier and present that slip back to the senior high school campus. I have to literally get back to the main part of Cagayan de Aro and then to the uptown 
part just to get this thing done which is pretty hectic I guess the city is currently raining cats and dogs but it has turned out that since I shot the time lapse the rain has actually become a little less heavier and we'll be able to go out right now it's currently 8 41 in the morning and we're just about to head out the hotel room actually we're going to leave the wonderful city of golden friendship also known as Kagaya de Oro we're supposed to have gone home but we didn't have something to do anyways we literally have to wait until tomorrow to be able to do this process again so we, we already brought our bags but we stayed in another night in a hotel and that is where we're currently in now and right after that we didn't really have much to do in the city anyway so we just went around the mall is it heavy? it's pretty heavy so about mm, this is about right but I can switch it I'll leave two more of these eco bags to carry I'll mm. carry the bigger one okay I'll try this one okay thank you ma you sure? you can keep up with it? yes alright one of the most beautiful stays that I ever had. Um, if you're looking for a cheap hotel in Cagayan de Oro City, I recommend here. The name of the hotel that we're staying is Hotel 801. And we had a really great night together. I think this hotel is kind of new and it's actually a cleaner than the previous hotel that I last checked in a day ago. Yeah, as you can see it's kind of new here. You and clean. Yes, I really appreciate your service and the cleanliness of your telephone, ma'am. Thank you. Alright, stepping foot from the hotel. Uh, we're going to grab a taxi, we head to over to the main campus of the school. So, the good thing is that it has just rained and there's not much heavy traffic around these streets. Which makes the city as quiet as it is. Uh, University main campus. The only thing we have to deal with is the absurd amount of baggages and things we have to bring. Thank you, sir. Okay, now we're in the main campus of the CBU University. God, I miss it here, man. This is exactly the university that my brother and my sister used to stay when they were still college students. Okay, so we just got the official receipt for the good moral certificate and then probably we're heading to the uptown part to get to the senior high school campus of Xavier University where I'll present that slip into the student's prefect. Uh, that's the wrong way, that's the wrong way. Man, I miss this university so much! Xavier University, SHS. back at the senior high school campus of Xavier University. That's the students perfect. We're claiming the good moral certificate now. That's all good. That's good. Okay, I was able to claim it. All good. Okay, I didn't want to tell you this, but I still have one more thing to do. To be able to claim everything, uh, I just got presented this, this academic records, which is it's a request that the uh, school that I'm currently enrolled in really needs and I'm going to obtain them meaning I have to go back to the main campus I have to get back to the downtown part of Kagai and the Oro and head back here to present them this one and then you know we're finally going up after this Okay, we just arrived to the main campus of the University. 
can really that they have cut off time from 11.30 to 1 p.m. So I cannot proceed with the payment yet. It is 11.30 to the restaurant is low and so we need to go for the day. Okay, that means we have to take another ride to the mall. Okay, I'm currently fasting right now. I do not really want to break the fast again. Within one week and four days of me fasting, I've only broken one day of fasting. And I shouldn't be able to do this again or what? I guess taking three days out of 14 days of fasting could be fine but i don't really want to i don't really want to break the fast again but i do not think it's it's something that i would really do again i'm not even sure yet so we just claimed the good moral certificate but the next thing we would do is the request the school that told me to get the request we literally have to go all the way back to the main campus of the CBU University which is the which is located in the downtown area of Cagayan de Oro and then right after that we have to get back to the senior high school campus of the CBU University located in the uptown and present the request slip so we can actually get this approved by the registrar this is a pretty tremendous amount of effort and time my mom is pretty stressed about it. I'm stressed about it. We do not want to make anything or these situations affect me and affect my mood. That is why I'm still in a good mood. I don't want any stress to exacerbate my problems because this is one of the goals I will achieve in the year of 2023. And I think this is one of the things that will uh, pretty much improve my patience and my well-being. Yes, people will appreciate it so much when you have a tremendous amount of patience and well-being. I don't really want to break my fast again because I don't want to let any donuts or anything or any food that's surrounding me attempt me to break my fast. But we, uh, we got served two chocolate donuts and an extra donut sitting in front of me. We had a we had a, we had a free glass we sitting in there. My mom would consume all of these donuts. Not going to break my fast. I don't want to do this but I will take another day off from fasting because right after 3 p.m. the time that I'll be able to eat again, I would already be in a bus ride. Meaning when we're in a bus ride we wouldn't really eat much during the trip because that's like a five to six hour trip all the way back home, probably more than six hours of trip. And the bus would usually stop at a place where we would usually eat much because of the foods that they serve that is limited due to the loads and the restrictions in the bus terminals. And I do not want to do this, but I'll have to eat for that so that I will gain nourishment. Not because I am tempted, but because I wouldn't have enough nourishment and energy. And this would actually affect the way how I will function throughout the rest of the day and for tomorrow and the days ahead. I hate taking days off, but I have to pray and apologize before I'll eat. I'm sorry that I'm more than I do not want this. The reason why I took a day off, another day off from fasting is not actually because I'm tempted to consume the donut. I don't actually even want to consume the last donut. I don't really feel any pleasantness consuming the donut. But it is that I don't really have enough nourishment to actually get through the day. Maybe I might feel that I will become really more and more and more and more tired and more tired throughout the day and this would also affect my mood and the way I function I really hate taking a day off actually I don't even feel any pleasantness consuming that last donut uh, lunch okay lunch in KFC just chicken and a soup 
Okay, just not having lunch. It's currently 21 in the afternoon. We have to get back to the main campus of Cebu University again. We have to do this as quick as we can. Yeah, I gotta love Texas catch up. I wish we could do this within an hour. We have to get back to the senior high school campus of the school. Now we're going to present the card. We're going to present the pay, and then we're going to present the uh, proof of payment in the senior high school campus. Okay, we're able to claim the official receipt. Now let's head back to senior high school campus and then get the requirements, and then we're finally done. Okay, we did it guys. We were able to present the requirement to the school so that it will then be approved by the school that I've attended which is already good. And what's the result now ma? It's already great. Yes, it's great and we have to go home now because uh, yeah, we're that's... very tired. We want to yeah. take a rest and that's also we have something to catch up uh, there. So, okay. thank you for bearing with us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, ma'am. Yes, thank, thank you, you so Lord. much. Thank you, the next thing we're going to... Especially to ma'am Iris. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Xavier. University Senior High School. Yes, she's so kind. The rest of the faculty members and you helped us here. Thank you so much and God bless. See you next year. That's a wonderful message. Now we're heading to the bus terminal. From here, uh, it's been a wonderful two days being here in Cagayan de Oro. I will be missing this place. We have things to catch up later. We're gonna catch the bus now. It's currently 2 30 in the afternoon, and we're going to buy. Hey, what's up? Hey, guys. Okay, now we're in the bus. It's currently 3 20 in the afternoon, and our bus trip is going to take about seven hours to arrive. Yeah, it's going to take a long time. I expect we're going to arrive at 10 pm for this. Another bus terminal. Another stop in a bus terminal. Just, just going there for a quick pee. Just going to urinate and we're going out. Okay, so we're just about to leave Iligan City, about 140 kilometers into the destination. That's three hours, and that's about four hours of bus trip. Stop by just for a quick dinner. Uh, we're going to take food now. Yeah, we got a hurry. Okay, just done having dinner. Uh, they have not traveled, the driver is yet here.
currently 10.51 which means I have to get to bed really soon I have to prepare everything I need to dress up now now I'm dressed up it's good to be back at this house again I need to get to bed as soon as I can I will come up with a refreshed mind for tomorrow and then compiling all these videos because it's good and I really need to be consistent on YouTube no vlogging is already one of the things that I really start enjoying now and I'll probably get back to fasting tomorrow until the next Sunday. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by and I hope you enjoy this two-day vlog about the amount of effort that we've done to keep up with all this which has been successful.